Hello! In this video we are going to learn how we can copy files and directories using our powerful command line. So right now I'll go to my desktop and I'll create a file called file1 and then I'll open up this file and I'll write one sentence I like Linux. Okay, so let's say for example you want to create another file which is a copy of this file one, right? So all you need to do is just say cp file one and file and your new file name here. So this will create another copy of file one and it will, it will call it file two. So if I execute this command and open up file two here, as you can see, it has the same sentence of file one, which is I like Linux. Great. So this is one way you can use the cp command which is cp stands for copy here of course okay let's uh, okay let's now update the contents of file one i like ubuntu so now what if i execute the same command file one file two so file two here already exists right so the cp command here will only update file two to contain the new con the the to contain the new contents of file one so if I execute this command, I would see that file 2 here will also have the line, I like Ubuntu. Okay, that's perfect. So, so uh, as a summary here, if, the, if file 2 does not exist, it will create this file. However, if it does exist, it will just update the contents of this file. Okay. Now let's create a directory. I'll call it directory1. Okay, let's let's say for example, like right now, directory one is empty, as you can see. If you want to copy these two files to directory one, all you need to do is just say file one, file two, and then you have to specify a destination directory, which is directory one. So in general, you would have any file name, any file here, file name two, then file name, blah, blah, blah. So you can have any files, you can copy any number of files, but you have to specify a destination directory. This will be your destination, which, is, which will be a directory, right? Okay, so for example, in this case, I would copy file one, file two, and I'll put it into, inside of my destination directory one. And if I open directory one, as you can see, I will have file one and file two. Awesome. Let's say I have a directory, another directory, I'll call it directory2. How can I copy directory2 to directory1? So only, so if I just say cp directory2 directory1, it will not work. It will tell you omitting directory2. So I have to use the dash r option. So as you see, dash r, we always use this option when we deal, to, when we deal with directories. We, we did use it when we, when we uh, had the rm command, when we want to remove a directory, we have to specify the r option, and also right here, when we want to copy a directory, we have to specify the dash r option, the recursive option. So I would say, copy directory2 into directory1, and let's see. Yeah, if I open now directory1, sure it did. It copied directory2. Awesome. So this is one option that you can use, which is dash R. Okay, uh, another option is the dash I, right? So what is dash I? I here also means interactive. So for example, right now I already have file one and file two inside of my directory one. However, what if I also, what if I copied the same files, file one and file two, inside directory one again right and execute this command you know this will not tell me anything even though these two files already existed into my directory one so this like this command here without any option the cp it will overwrite the uh, the files that i have inside of my directory one so for example here inside of my directory one i will open this file i have like i have li i like ubuntu here I have I like Ubuntu. However, if I go inside here, I say I like Fedora, 
and here in file 2 I would say I like OpenSUSE and save of course okay right now if I did CP file 1 file 2 directory 1 this will override the contents of file 1 and file 2 so if I go here I like Fedora and I like OpenSUSE perfect so this will overwrite silently overwrite however if you specify the dash i option file 1 file 2 directory 1 this will tell you do you want do you, do you really want to overwrite file 1 because it already existed i would say yes and do you do you really want to uh, overwrite file 2 because it already also existed i would say for example no so the dash i option it will prompt you before any uh, overwrite so for example if you have a file which already existed it will prompt you do you actually want to overwrite it or not so it, it will basically ask for your confirmation before overwriting any file this is uh, how you can use the dash i option and you can also use the cp dash v option which is also for uh, verbose so verbose will simply tell you the summary of what your uh, command did so if you for example want to uh, copy directory 1 inside of directory 2 copy directory 1 inside of directory 2 it will just tell you oh I have to use the dash r option here you see dash r option so directory 1 directory 2 as you can see so it will show you like kind of uh, a summary of what it did it did put directory 1 inside of directory 2 and it put all the files inside of directory 2 so if I open now directory 2 I will have directory 1 which itself has two files and directory 2 perfect uh, okay so that's it actually for the cp command and before I close this video I just want to delete all these files so I'll use my rm command to delete directory 2, directory 1, file 1 and file 2. Done. That's it for this video guys. Ciao.